In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert units using a one-step conversion in a process called dimensional analysis. As we do, I want to consider this multiplication problem 57 inches over 1 times 1 foot over 12 inches. And if you recall, when we multiplied fractions, we could divide out common factors in the numerator and denominator, and that includes units, which means when we see inches on top and bottom, we can divide them out, which leaves us with 57 times 1 foot, or 57 feet, over 1 times 12, which is 12. This leaves the division problem 57 by 12, which is 4.75 feet. And what we've done here is converted 57 inches into feet, 4.75 feet. We did this by dividing out units by placing them in the opposite part of the fraction. They were on top, we placed the inches on the bottom. As we do, we create this thing called a conversion factor, which is a fraction that has the same amount in both the numerator and denominator, but different units. Notice the conversion factor that we used, 1 foot and 12 inches, are both the same amount, they just have different units. This process we're using is called dimensional analysis, where we multiply by a conversion factor to convert the units. So let's see if we can figure out how to create these conversion factors and convert units of measurement. For example, if we have 17.2 miles, and we wanted to convert that to kilometers. Well, the first thing we need to do is take what we start with and make it into a fraction. So we'll put the 17.2 miles, be sure to use the units, over 1 so that it's a fraction. Next, we'll set up our conversion factor. Remember, in the conversion factor, we place the units in the opposite part of the fraction. Miles are on top, we put miles on the bottom, and we're going to convert them into kilometers. We'll have to look up what the conversion factor is between miles and kilometers, and we'll find that 1.61 kilometers is the same as 1 mile. Now, with miles in the numerator and denominator, they're dividing out, and we can multiply straight across. 17.2 times 1.61 kilometers is 27.692 kilometers over 1. Well, this is a simple division problem. Dividing by 1 leaves 27.692 kilometers is equivalent to the 17.2 miles. Again, notice we set this up by first making the 17.2 miles into a fraction, putting the miles in the opposite location, changing to kilometers, and then we looked up on some conversion chart the relationship to set up the rest of our conversion factor. Let's try one more. Here, we're changing 88 pounds into kilograms. To do this, we first make the 88 pounds into a fraction by putting the 88 pounds over 1, and then start setting up our conversion factor. To get rid of the pounds, we place them in the opposite location, in the denominator. In the numerator, we're changing them into kilograms. Then we look up on our conversion factor sheet what the relationship is between kilograms and pounds, and we'll find that 2.2 pounds, 2.20 pounds, is equal to 1 kilogram. Now we'll see the pounds divide out, and when we multiply across, 88 times 1 kilogram is 88 kilograms. 1 times 2.2 is 2.20. And then we simply have to divide 88 by 2.20, and we find out that 88 pounds is equal to 40 kilograms. Converting units with dimensional analysis is a simple process of just identifying the correct conversion factor, putting the units in the opposite place so that they divide out, and then finding the relationship off of a conversion factor chart.